Fox Footy Extra. Good morning. We break into scheduled Fox Footy programming to bring you this special Fox Footy presentation, a tribute to the great Jack Dyer. Jack Dyer, as we all know, he, he is the Richmond Football Club. He's uh, he set a really strong foundation for this club, and um, you know he's been an icon of our club. I can relate back to Jack and have some beautiful memories of a guy called Jack Dyer. Such a sad day uh, for the world of football and uh, Jack Dyer, uh, the biggest name in the history of the Richmond Football Club, uh, great symbol of the club, uh, six best and fairest uh, won by Jack and of course 312 games, uh, the captain blood, the nickname, he has uh, symbolised the Richmond Football Club, so he's one of the greatest icons the game has ever seen, he's an AFL legend. Yes, good morning and welcome to this special tribute to the great Jack Dyer, Tiger legend, legend of the AFL in fact, one of the all-time greats and biggest icons this game has ever seen, Jason Bennett alongside Jim Main. Jim, thanks for your time. In, again, sort of sad circumstances, as we pay tribute to Jack Dyer this morning, we'll be crossing shortly to St Ignatius Church down in Richmond and Richmond Hill for the funeral for Jack Dyer. A range of football luminaries spanning the Richmond Football Club and indeed football and, in fact, life in general. He's such a huge figure in the Australian community. He really is an icon of Australian culture. He is, and of course, um, being synonymous with uh, Richmond, I always look at a tiger and Jack Dyer's photograph and... I can imagine Jack Dyer as a tiger. He's got that feline sort of face and uh, grow some whiskers out the side of his cheeks and you'd swear it was a tiger. So I'd say that he was uh, almost literally born to be a tiger. 312 games for Jack Dyer and his beloved yellow and black. It was an AFL record at that time. Kicked 443 goals, six-time best and fairest, dual premiership player. But he's one of those very few men whose playing deeds were so superb, Jim, but went to a whole new level when he finished the game and enjoyed an amazing 39-year media career. As we take a look at his playing record there, from 1931 to 49, played an amazing 19 years, captained the club with great success, was a premiership captain coach of the Richmond Football Club, and as we mentioned, just an icon of the game. A larger-than-life character, and as I mentioned, over four decades, the legend of Captain Blood just grew and grew. I never saw Jack Dyer play, I was just a little bit too young, but uh, I grew up in an era in which uh, his name was uh, mentioned in awe and reverence as a footballer, but I then grew up as Jack Dyer the commentator and listened to him on radio and television, and football wasn't the same without Jack Dyer. He was the football media at the time, and uh, he and Dean Major uh, in their radio team, uh, they were just fantastic, and it wasn't football without listening to Jack Dyer. It's amazing isn't it the difference in age between you and I but I can also remember through the 1980s Ian Major and Jack Dyer, three keys at Eels football, the captain and the major and all of that and his newspaper column in the truth diarrhea, his uh, wonderful work on television on world of sport and league teams of course with Bobby Davis and Lou Richards he became as I mentioned a part of certainly Australian sporting culture and the media culture and for 50 or 60 years of uh, footy fans such as you and I who never saw him play, we just know the name Jack Dyer and just know that he is one of the all-time greats to be revered and when you hear the likes of Kevin Bartlett, Kevin Sheedy, Bob Davis, Lou Richards, you'll see the faces at the church this morning. Uh, it is an amazing collection of people to pay tribute to Jack Dyer. There is St Ignatius Church down on Richmond Hill where Jack went to school. We cross there now and join Monsignor Cadmore. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. 